G'day guys, we've got a related rates question here where we have a closed cylindrical can with a constant base radius of 5 centimetres. So this here is equal to 5 centimetres. Has its height increased at 0 0.1 centimetres per second from an initial height of 20 centimetres? Okay, this we'll call this its initial height where the blue is, it's 20 centimetres. And I'm fairly sure we're not going to need to use this bit. We'll, we'll write it in anyway. So we have 20 centimetres as our initial height. Find the rate of change of the external surface area of the can, the capacity of the can 20 seconds after the height increase commenced. Okay, so let's have a look at A to start with. So we're looking for the rate of change of the external surface area of the can. So we're looking for DSA, or the change in surface area, over the change in time. Whenever it says the rate of change, usually it's referring to um, something over DT. So what we have also in this question, which I forgot to write down, is we have its height is increasing at 0 0.1 centimetres per second. So we can say that its change in height, or dh, dt, is equal to 0 0.1 centimetres per second. Cool. So we'll, that's probably going to, that's this increase here. All right, so back to our question. So, the way that we're going to use related rates to solve this change in surface area over the change in time is we're going to relate the change in surface area to the change in height and then multiply that by the change in height over the change in time. And so what I mean by this is we're going to say that the derivative of surface area with respect to height multiplied by the derivative of height with respect to time. Now the reason we do this is if we multiply these, the dh's will cancel and will be left, will be left with sorry, dsa dt. Okay, so now we have to go about computing all these different things. So we have the derivative of surface area with respect to height. Well first of all we have to work out what surface area is with respect to height. So the initial formula, surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Cool. We know that the radius is fixed at 5 centimetres. So we're going to have surface area with respect to height is going to be equal to 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50. 50 pi plus 5 times 2 is 10 pi h. Cool. So now that we have surface area with respect to h, what we can do is we can take the derivative of this, dsa dh, and we're just left with 10 pi. This, because there is no variable on this, so this will cancel, and we're, this variable here will just drop off, and we're left with 10 pi. So, we know that dh dt is 0 0.1. So what we're going to be able to, what we can compute this, this derivative of surface area with respect to time, it's going to be equal to the derivative of surface area with respect to height, which we just computed to be 10 pi, multiplied by 0 0.1, which is just equal to this is like saying 10 pi divided by 10, which is equal to just pi. Now we make sure we put our units in, centimetres squared per second. Cool. On to B. So B is asking us to work out the change, the rate of change of the capacity of the can. So we're looking for dv, 
dt. Now, using the same kind of um, logic as we did before, well, not the same kind of, the exact same logic as we did before, we're going to relate the volume to the height. Because we have the height with respect to time, if we multiply them, the heights will cancel and we'll have dv dt. So we're going to have dv dh times dh over dt. And when they're multiplied, the dhs will cancel. So over here, let's work out the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. So in this case, our radius is fixed at 5. So volume with respect to height is just going to be 5 squared, which is 25, pi h. So therefore, we could say that dv dh, if we do take the derivative of this, it's just going to be 25 pi. Cool. So what we can do now is like the other question, we can say that dv dt will equal to dv dh, which is 25 pi, times dh dt, which is just 0 0.1. Now, if we divide 25 by 10, we get 2.5. So this is going to be 2.5 pi centimetres cubed per second. Now, it's important that we write our units down. So there are two solutions. OK, so let's go over what we've done here. So first of all, we had to identify that it was a related rates question. Now, the way that we can do that is if we have a change in one variable with respect to time and we're looking for the change in another variable with respect to time, the reason it's called related rates is we have to relate the final variable, in this case surface area and volume, with respect to the other variable that we have initially with respect to time. Once we've done that, if we can multiply them together, the the other variable will cancel and we'll have the variable that we want with respect to time. So in this case, what we did is we were told that our um, the change in height over the change in time was 0 0.1. We were told that our radius was fixed at 5. This 20 centimetres, like I said, didn't we didn't really need it. So that was helpful. Um, so what we did then is we related the change in surface area over the change in time to be equal to the change in surface area with respect to height times the change in height with respect to time. Similarly, with the second one, we related the change in volume with respect to time by equating the change in volume with respect to height multiplied by the change in height with respect to time. Once we've done all that, it was quite easy just to plug in the derivatives. If we know how to, the mechanics of basic differentiation, you can plug it all in, multiply them together, and you pop out with a number. So I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos as often as possible. Um, if you have any problems that you'd like me to help solve, send me a message and I'll um, do my best to solve them. But until next time, I'll see you then.